Hello my dear family members, today we will solve some recently asked common application and MSOPS questions which were asked in previous year as well. So before you start with the questions, I would request you to please join and subscribe our YouTube channel. Okay, let's start with the questions. So the first question is what does the formula len of I love metal will return? So as we know about the programming languages, what length return? That is total length of the letters, right? So one space is also included. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? So total twelve letters or spaces are there, right? Okay, I hope you have got it. Okay, let's go to the next question. That is, which of the following functions will you use to extract the month from a date given in a cell in MS Excel? Okay, this is very easy question and the name itself suggests the answer. The answer will be month, right? This function will help you to extract the month from a date, right? So the next question is, if you want that all the numbers between the 0 and 15 range should be displayed in blue color, you should perform which of the following operations? Uh, select the numbers in the range from 0 to 50 and color it blue, use if function apply conditional formatting or all of the given option okay without any delay i am answering option d will be correct answer because with these three we can do the same that means we can we can take the numbers between 0 to 50 and make it blue but right okay the next question is consider the following table you have used the following formula for it is equal to vlookup g2 data math g3 months 00 and the question is when would you use match function and what is the replacement? So the question is, I mean the options are these, right? So match is used to match an additional element month. You can use index in place of match or this, this. So please pause and try to give the answer, right? Actually, I have already made videos upon VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, right? So if you didn't watch that, then please go through that. I'm not extending the video time again, again explaining those things, right? Okay, actually the answer will be in this case option C, right? Match is used to match the VLOOKUP data with G2 and you can use index in place of match, right? Okay, I hope you have got it. If you still face any problem, then let me know. I will give you the solution or explanation, right? In the comment section. Okay, the next question is, which of the given options tells the purpose of the PowerPoint layout given below? So this is the diagram shown to you. Your question is, what is the purpose of this diagram or layout? Comparison to content, content with caption, picture with caption. What will be the answer? Actually, if you use your common sense, then you can answer this, right? This will be the answer, comparison. Actually, we uh, commonly draw this type of diagram for comparison purpose, right? Okay, the next question is, Identify the view type in MS PowerPoint which will lead to the screen given below. Actually, if you normally used the PowerPoint, then you can see these three types of views present, right? Slide view, uh, normal view, outline view, but you can't see backstage view. But this also plays a important role, right? Actually, the answer will be backstage view, right? For this, actually, the PowerPoint view look like this, right? Okay, the next question is, consider a scenario in which you have a flowchart in your slide that has different themes for the various shapes in the flowchart. Which tab will have different theme styles? Actually, this is the diagram shown to you and the options are these. Design tab, animation tab, insert tab or drawing tab. What will be the correct option? So question is this and answer is this, right? I mean, options are this. Okay, the, let me answer that. Answer will be option A, design tab. The name itself suggests the answer, right? Okay, I'm not explaining this anymore. Next question is, consider the following lines of text. Good morning, welcome to the MS Word. And the promote and demote list item. Question is, which of the following option in MS Word is used to move the text welcome to the ms word to one level right assume that the cursor is before the letter w so without any delay i am answering the correct option is shift plus b 
actually i have made a separate video on the shortcut keys i have included this this shortcut key as well so if you already watched that then you can answer that right okay the next question is what is the purpose of the icon shown in the image below actually let me show you that the purpose of this image if you go there layout uh, section then you will find this size right so actually the answer will be for size purpose we use that right to change the size of the page right so we use this right okay the next question is an email needs to be sent to the people mentioned in the in screenshot given below the dash 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 right so some people are in two and some people are in cc and some people are in bcc question is select the incorrect statement from the given option x1z at gmail.com can be seen as recipient by other recipients sorry here x1z is not present but this should be x1y right x1y consider this right okay xyz at gmail.com can be seen as recipient by other recipient lmn at gmail.com can be seen as recipient by other recipient or lmo what will be the incorrect option actually option a will be incorrect actually if you place someone's email address in bcc or blind carbon copy field then that person will not be visible to other recipient right okay the next question is a quiz question for you that joe is working on an application project which can be used to edit text format input pages or prepare a report and can also save and print the entire document which of the given applications is the one related with the above mentioned scenario data management word processing operating system manage, managing system so what will be the correct answer so i hope you will give the answers in the comment section right and before i end the session i would request you to please join my youtube channel to give me some incentive right oh thank you for today's session